What are you doing to me? No, why, are you, why, why did that come ah, you? Good times in the Zimbabwean savannah. It's a lovely afternoon. The boys are having a cheeky. Ay, yay, yay. Ay, yay, yay. <laughs> no one cares about COVID anymore. This is Get Together Day. Got the cooler boxes out full of castle light. Dress code strictly Gucci sliders or sandals with the toes out. God, everyone's having a good time. It's just vibes, vibes, vibes. But you know, with alcohol, it's a dangerous mix, eh? And things can get said, or your homeboy can reach for the packet of peanuts at the same time that you do, and your hands will touch. And now you gotta prove that it was a genuine accident, and that you're not some gay oak. And that's what's probably happened in today's edition of Fighting. So let's bring out the scoreboard here. It's cream t-shirt versus gray t-shirt, ladies and gentlemen. This should be a great gout. Let's go. What are you doing to me? No, no, why, why, why did I come here? Why did you take me here? Because you're doing this to me. Don't do this, girl. Oh, great start by Grey T-Shirt with the condescending tone that should make Cream Tea rethink his emotions, aided by some camera work that deserves Best Cinematography Award at the Oscars, or at least a mention on our oh, Praise the Cameraman. He makes Cream T-Shirt look silly. I mean, look at me with my clean white cap. Ah, cream, where's your clean white cap? Ah, you threw it on the ground, but why, man? And it doesn't help that Cream T-Shirt is trying to play the save face card by being the victim here. The reason why that hat is on the ground is because, uh, Grey is doing something to you? Hey, homie, this is a fight. This is a bout. Not the UN or some great debate platform. But it begs the question, was the throwing of the hats a strategic move so that he could gain sympathy from Grey Shirt and guilt trip him into submitting? What does Grey Shirt properly know about the hat? Is it a prized possession? And what does 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 cream shirt throwing it down show that all boundaries have been crossed now? And what is Grey Shirt supposed to think? Ah, damn, he threw the cap down. My homie loves that cap. Damn, this is serious. Shall he hit me? Shall he call my mother a whore? What should I do now? But Cream Shirt, he doesn't think about this man. Grey Shirt doesn't give a damn about that cap. What are you doing? What are you doing? Made him fall all the way back. Oh, oh, so you think it's cool? Oh, I'm telling you, it is. Because you're not thinking. Fall all the way back, my G. Because when I close it, I'll go all the way. And I'll take you there. Ah, calm down, Chico. I'm telling you, calm the fuck down, my G. Okay, okay. Calm the fuck down. Let's go. I was being. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, look like a strong attack there by Cream Shirt. Coming in with the macho man threats, telling his homie, retreat. But this is serious. My cap is on the floor, and that gives me plus 5 attack, plus 5 defense, and 15 counter. But alas, <laughs> he doesn't know that Grey Shirt already has 40 counter on him. Jesus Christ, Hansi, I'll take you there. What now, Baba? Grey Shirt is controlling the game. He knows he's 2 0 up, he knows he's winning, and I mean, it's obvious that Cream's game plan has fallen apart here. You know, the blood flow isn't flowing to the brain section of the body. It's now diverted to the esophagus and mouth area, where he's now shouting repeated nonsense like he's somebody's father. Grey knows he's done here. Grey calls game over, like Mourinho shaking Van Gaal's hand before the match is completely ended. That's a power move. Let's go, let's but I didn't go. snap at let's you. Go. I was being snarkish, but I didn't snap at you. Don't fucking snap at me. Oh. I was being snarkish. I'm gonna snap at you. Get this. Because I'm getting pissed off. So then, what do you mean? Do something about it then. You're my homie, I'm not gonna snap. Uh, oh no, Grey. You had a comfortable lead there. Really comfortable. But I have to call that a go to cream shirt. Man, when the word do something is thrown around in a fight or a verbal altercation, you have to do something. You can't back out. Push, sucker punch, something you, you just can't pull out because it makes you look weak. And that sanctimonious, ah man, you're my homie, I can hit you. That isn't scoring points right now. Grey shirt needed to show that he has some cojones, especially now that he said he was pissed off. I mean, sure, you might dislocate somebody's jaw or sprain your hand in the process, but the situation was begging for a world star moment, a panenka, the backhand return, a poisterizer, something dramatic. <sighs> tusk, tusk. Uh, okay, Don't okay, disrespect yeah. me, guys. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, you, you, okay, you're doing this. Okay, let's Don't go, let's disrespect go. me. Yeah, okay, shut the fuck up, nigga. Oh, do you see that? 
My nigga, you been Chico. telling me. You told me. Chico. You told me. You told Chico. me. Shut. You said I said you. shut the fuck up. I said fuck you to you. Okay. Oh, please play this shit back. I cast yeah, you. When okay, the fuck did go. I cast you? Let's go. Okay, now I'm not sure where the fight is going. Is, is this still about the initial beef? The cap being on the floor? Either way, I'm gonna have to deduct a score from both fighters. What is this scrappy play? First and foremost, the homie comes into the match, right? There isn't much to be in each other's faces right now. It's just bickering at this point. But Cream Shirt is a sore loser. You ever play FIFA against these guys? Ah, no, a rematch, rematch, wait. <laughs> he doesn't want to be, the, he does not want this man to walk away from the fight. He needs this. Perhaps he's on a three match losing streak. Him and this guy have been at each other's necks for weeks now and it's culminated to this moment. And my man wants to walk away from the fight? No, the fight must go on. It's not a good look though, the way he's following. It just shows desperation. The best thing to do was to walk to wherever he was going to sit in the car and continue to talk shit on the way. You can't tail a man who's done with the fight. But then it's also minus one for Greyshirt because he's a liar. First man, own up to it. You swore at the man. Yes, you did. We all heard you. And don't back out from that right now because man is in your face about it. Rather, this is your time to call a bluff. <laughs> you know, redeem yourself for not acting when man said, what you gonna do about it? Who knows? He might knock you out or he might bluff. A bluff is an extra point and it's a risk worth taking in my book. But lying that the man swore at you doesn't bode well because my man knows that he didn't. Sakamanji. Let's go. No, no, this all, doing this all going. Can go camera. Camera. <laughs> the cameraman really deserves that award. This all thing. Now I'm telling you, my nigga. Don't rap no. to me like a child. Let Chico, no. I can go there, my nigga. I can. Yes, I can. And Fuck you, you up. And you think, you I think can it go there, nigga. You okay. think I'm scared of you? Okay. I'm just saying, Guti, listen. I'm raving to Guti. I have been snuggish at you. I have been snapped at you. Don't fucking snap at me. If I'm to you. Don't fucking and snap. Ask. Oh, this is getting heated. My man's fuse is this close to blowing. It really means a lot to him that his homies argue with him in a cordial manner. Because, ah, attitude. Was I shout in your face? How dare you? And Greyshirt is winning now, no doubt. I mean, first he comes through playing the safe face card so that he looks proper. You know, Saka, don't you I mean, like, what, you wanna hit me now? So that even if Cream Shirt does hit him, it's a sucker punch and minus 100 points. And Greyshirt said this so graciously, so firmly with that stone cold frown of his, my man would probably not hit him. I mean, Ungarove Munanitsama Zagadairi. Also, check out those guns, bye bye. Uh. <laughs> It would not be a straightforward fight. In a Janem ne Paul Lebele Mushunanida. And in Gojide Jibqua Katsunida. And Cream resorting to this hey, don't be snackish does not help him. Else, man. This is this is this is Gracia's game. Hey, say fuck ask, off and do this to me. I want your child, nigga. Ah, fuck off, ask, nigga. Fuck you too, uh, nigga. You uh, I'm I'll sit in the back. <laughs> I'll sit in the back. <laughs> ah, where's your stuff? Anti German Makanda Kebe in Yubazi. My name is Nongi Misad Masiwa. But there's so many questions left unanswered by this fight. What was it for? Did they make up? How was the ride home? And most importantly, did man choose to ride in the dog section because he was so mad? Sort of as a last resort hissy fit card. I don't know though. Maybe there'll be a part two.